Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. You're probably wondering what the title of this video is about, but these are my top 10 picks for doll lifestyle items. And what that means is if you're super passionate about dolls like I am, there are lots of things that you can get that I would consider like a doll lifestyle item. So something that shows your love of dolls without actually being a doll. So number 10 on my list are gonna be doll makeup sort of items. So one that I have and that I use is called Hypnos Doll Lashes. That is by Lancome. And I use this mascara. This is not the only brand of makeup that is out there that is doll related. There's a lot of other makeup companies that have doll related palettes and things like that. There's actually people that go so far as to make themselves look like a doll with doll makeup, making the big eye look and things like that. But you can find all sorts of cool things that are doll related in the makeup industry that are really cool for a doll collector if you're interested in that sort of thing. And another cool thing about the mascara, like I said, this is the mascara I use. On the back, it's got all the different languages for doll lashes, so you can see all the different words for doll in a different language across the back, so that's really cool. Number nine on my list is a doll scarf. You can see I'm wearing one here. This has, and I'm not sure I'm gonna say this right, I think it's called Matroshka dolls, but you can just do a search for Russian nesting dolls, and there are a lot of gorgeous scarves made out of material that have the nesting dolls printed on them. Uh, here are some from Etsy that you can see, and you can just kind of search that, and that's a popular print in fabrics, so not only could you find scarves, but there's a lot of other cute things um, with these dolls and all sorts of doll lifestyle sort of items with the nesting dolls that you can find from mugs to scarves, like I said here, um, bags, all sorts of cool things. So that is number nine on my list. Number eight on my list are doll stationary items. And so there are so many different choices for doll stationary that you could get. A lot of artists bring or send stickers with their dolls. There's also all sorts of writing cards and things that have dolls on them. So this is a stationary set that I have that's different doll cards. And this is an older set. It's a much older set actually. And I've used most of the cards over the time. But you can find that, you can find Barbie ones. Barbie's gonna appear on this list a lot because she's really popular and easy to license and make things out of. So she'll appear. But a quick and easy one you can get are these Japanese doll pens from Amazon. So they're really cute gel pens and they have a little doll at the end that you can see that will kind of bring that doll lifestyle and that doll magic just into your everyday sort of routine. Number seven on my list for doll lifestyle items are doll shirts. So you can see I'm wearing a Cabbage Patch Kids shirt here that I got at Babyland General. You've seen me wear Barbie shirts pretty frequently. Again, Barbie's very easy to find. If you just do a search for Barbie shirts, you can find them. Many retailers have them. I've got here a Didoom shirt that I got a while back. Um, it's more of a night shirt than an actual shirt. But you'll be surprised where you can find doll-related shirts. I found this one when I visited Babyland. Um, you know, just out shopping, a lot of times at Target you'll find Barbie shirts. If you're on a website of a favorite doll company, look to see if they have any other merchandise because you might find a shirt or a beach towel. I've seen beach towels before. There's all sorts of cool things that are apparel related that you may be able to find um, to kind of bring that doll lifestyle, you know, outside of your doll room and outside of your collection. Number six on the list are doll related jewelry and pins. You would be surprised how many of our favorite doll artists make jewelry, make pins, things like that. Some of my favorites are, I have a pigeon doll, lavalier, it looks like, I hope I said lavalier right, that might not be right, but it was painted to look like David Bowie and it's pigeon's face. And so I wear that as a pendant sometimes. And I have my own set of pins with my channel logo on them. Another favorite of mine 
is the jewelry of Margot Lang. And I don't have one of her pieces yet, but you can see here she uses Barbies. She upcycles Barbies and makes beautiful jewelry out of it. So that's a great conversation piece and a great statement piece to wear with any outfit. And these pins and things you can stick to your purse or to your backpack or your bag, whatever. And that's something you can carry around with you where you might not be able to carry a ton of dolls around, but you can have that little reminder of your, your doll stuff. Or you can even put it, if you're in a cubicle like I am, you can have a little collection of doll pins on the wall in your cubicle. So those are good items to, to have if you want to kind of extend your doll lifestyle. Number five on the list is doll artwork. A lot of our favorite doll artists create pieces of artwork, whether it be prints or one of a kinds that you can hang on the wall. So this is one of my favorites from Atelier Mamoni. It's a print that she did and had an L doll. I have several doll related art pieces. Another favorite of mine is, and I have this hanging in my doll room, is this Frida Kahlo self portrait with doll because that is a classic piece of artwork by one of the masters and it's her with her doll and so I thought that was just so appropriate to hang in my room. I also have a picture that I had done at Epcot um, of one of my favorite dolls, my doll Essence Laura, and that's hanging in my room. And on top of that, you can see many artists have doll artwork. For example, here on Pigeon site, there are plenty of artwork pieces to choose from. And one of the cool things about artists offering artwork is let's say you really want to support an artist, but you can't afford their doll at that point in time. Buying a piece of their artwork is a great way to support them and help them keep producing the dolls and the art that we all love. Adding that artwork to your collection is you know, a lifestyle sort of thing because you can hang it in your doll room if you have a doll space like I do or in your doll space, but you can also hang it in other areas of your house where it's not so conspicuous that, hey, you're a doll collector, but at the same time, it's that little touch of doll artwork or in your office at work or wherever you may have space to hang artwork. It doesn't necessarily scream dolls, but you know that that is part of your doll lifestyle and that's part of the hobby that you love and the thing that you love and so it's there as a reminder to you um, as a cool piece to have um, just as a collector. Number four on the list of doll related lifestyle items are doll books. I have many, many, many doll books in my collection, but they're not actually dolls. And so what I like about this is you can have it on a bookshelf you know um, what it is. It's a great reference point. Another great book that's out there, there's lots of books about Barbie. You can find those, you can find price guides. I really like the Dolly Treasures books. She, if you don't follow her on Instagram, she posts amazing pictures with a whole assortment of dolls and she has printed some of those pictures and put them into a book. And that's a fun book to have. I actually have one of them, my friend Diana got it for me. She also got me the Nancy Encyclopedia, but that's a great book to have. Um, people that aren't even doll lovers can appreciate that because of the, the whimsy and the pictures and it's something, it's a great little coffee table book um, that you can leave out in your home and just use it to start conversation with folks. So I really like doll books as an item to have if you're a doll collector and it's a good lifestyle type item to have in your life. Um, as a collector. Number three on the list, which is perfect for home or office, is get a novelty lamp that is doll adjacent, if you know what I mean. I found this one at Goodwill and I thought it was perfect because it's got the two little figures on it riding a um, rocking horse and it's very whimsical and it just sort of reminds me of a doll, right? And there's also a lot of choices on Etsy. If you just go search doll lamp, there's all sorts of things from where people have disassembled dolls and created lamps, where there are lamps that are more like this, where it's, you know, seems like there's a doll at the base of the lamp and it was made that way. But this is a fun way to bring a touch of that collecting into your office or into your workspace at home or just into different areas of your life. And so I think that's a really good way because it's something you're going to use a lot too. It's something that's there as your daily, um, daily on your desk or by your bed or 
for your reading lamp, whatever, it's gonna be there and so it just adds that little touch to your daily life. Number two on my list for doll lifestyle items are doll mugs. I have a doll mug from artist Kim Arnold. She sent these, uh, she did like a giveaway and I got one of these. I have another one that is a Huckleberry Pie mug that I found at a thrift store and Huckleberry Pie is one of Strawberry Shortcake's friends, of course. Junie Moon has some really beautiful Blythe mugs and I really recommend this. If you have a morning cup of tea or a morning cup of coffee, this is a great way to start your day. You can just, you know, have, I drink tea, so I just have my tea and I can look at my mug and it just, it's happiness. You know, so many other fandoms have their own cups and mugs and all sorts of things where the doll fandom isn't really considered a fandom like a lot of other things, but you can have these little items in your, that sneak into your life uh, that you can use on a daily basis just to kind of live that doll lifestyle. So that's why I really like mugs and um, I think everybody, every doll collector should have at least one. My number one favorite doll lifestyle item are doll purses because this is something you can carry with you every day if you're going somewhere. They also make bags. If you're not a purse carrier, there's all sorts of other bags. You can get messenger bags, backpacks, things like that. Right now, the sports sack has Barbie bags. So you can see I have a Barbie purse and also on their website, they have a lot of other types of cases. So if you're not a purse carrier, like I was saying, they have little what they call cosmetic cases, but you could use that for stationery or for all sorts of different things. Barbie's not the only one that comes out with bags and purses. You can find all sorts of different things on Etsy with different prints. You can have your own thing printed and made into a bag. So I really, really like purses and bags because, you know, it's something that I carry this every day. And so it's just something that's kind of there and people see it and they don't necessarily think, oh, she's a doll collector, but they'll look and say, oh, she must like Barbie, which I do. But it's just a fun thing for me that reminds me of, you know, what I like and what makes me happy. And when you go to say a doll show, for example, and you have a bag like this, you get so many compliments. People, oh, I love your bag, it's so cute. And you, so that's cool because, you know, we as collectors, we want to share that love with the world and um, this is one way you can do it, you know, on the outside without necessarily carrying a doll with you everywhere you go. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this countdown. I just wanted to point out a lot of the things because there are so many, like I said before, so many fandoms like Star Wars and you know, um, Marvel, all these different things that people can do and have all these home products and things for, but not necessarily dolls. They're a little bit more difficult to find. And so I have curated a lot of things in my own life that are doll related, that are lifestyle sort of products. And I wanted to share those with you guys. So let me know in the comments below what your favorite doll lifestyle item is. Do you have something that you use every day that is doll related but is not a doll that you use for your everyday life? And from the list that I have put out here, what was your favorite item on my list? So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. If you like the content, please consider subscribing and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.